bacterial prostatitis. The prostatitis is um, inflammation of the prostate gland, um, which may be bacterial or a bacterial. Bacterial prostatitis is more common than a bacterial prostatitis, and it may present as an acute condition, which may either be sexually transmitted or results from urethral reflux of um, infected urine into the prostatic ducts. So other potential sources may be bacterial spread from rectum or um, bloodstream. If inadequately treated, this may progress to chronic prostatitis and it's more common in men below um, 50 years. The causes are gram-negative bacterial infections like from E. coli, Zidomonas, um, Streptococcus fecalis, Proteus, from, um, Klebsiella, Serratia and enterobacteria, also sexually transmitted infections, for example, from gonococcus and chlamydia. These are symptoms, acute like symptoms are fever, chills and malaise, low back and waist pain, myalgia, arthralgia, rectal or perineal pain, urinary agency and frequency, nocturia, dysuria, difficulty in urination or retention of urine, hematuria and um, hemospermia or loss of libido and loss of libido okay. the chronic symptoms include insidious onset relapsing uti persistence of bacteria in um, seminal fluid despite antibiotic treatment low back pain and waist pain um, urinary agency and frequency nocturia difficulty in urination immaturia and hemospermia so the signs that are usually elicited acute um, signs include swollen and tender prostate on the guitar rectal examination so avoid prostatic massage as this could lead to um, septicemia and the rectum feels hot from the inflammation the chronic signs like findings on the um, digital rectal examination may be normal or a tender prostate occasionally for long standing disease and it may feel very firm or hard as in prostate cancer. Investigations um, urinalysis and culture, FBC, ESR, PSA, blood culture, expressed prostatic secretions for culture and sensitivity through the guitar rectal examination and voided specimen before and after prostate massage um, compared as in chronic prostatitis only the main treatment objectives are to relieve um, pain and fever to control infection to relieve lower um, urinary tract obstruction to prevent chronic prostatitis non-pharmacological treatment bed rest hydration hospitalization may be required in severe cases or when the condition is complicated by acute urinary retention and significant immaterial those with pubic um, cystostomy for acute urinary tension, urethral catheterization should be avoided. The pharmacological treatment, um, mild to moderate infections, first line treatment, is the prophylaxis around 500mg, 12 hourly for 4 to 6 weeks, and there's the cycling around 100mg, 12 hourly for 4 to 6 weeks. Second line treatment to give level fluxazin around 500 milligrams daily for four to six weeks and doxycycline around 100 milligrams 12 hourly for four to six weeks. For severe infections, give ciprofloxacin IV 400 milligrams eight to 12 hourly to be administered over 60 minutes or level fluxacin IV 500 milligrams 12 hourly or ceftriazone or um, IV one to two grams daily and gentamicin IV 80 milligrams 12 hourly the initial therapy with um, parenteral um, antibiotics is indicated in severe cases. So you follow up, follow up should be for at least four months. For improvement of urinary flu, you give tamsulosin, um, 500 micrograms daily at night, or um, alfuzosin, 10 milligrams daily, or terazosin, two to five milligrams daily at night. 
Well, agent treatments in severe presentations. Um, sodium chloride 0.9% IV as required in severe systemic infections and ibuprofen oral 500 mg interholy when required or diclofenac oral 7, um, 75 mg to overholy when required and um, lactulus oral 10 to 15 milliliters um, 12 hourly and I just um adjust those according to so referral criteria referral cases of um, severe infections or chronic prostatitis for specialist care